Lego Star Wars has definitely had its fair share of weird and wonderful minifigures over the years, but some are definitely weirder than others. Everybody loves the Clone Wars, and Lego has made some awesome minifigures from it, but they've also made some pretty creepy ones. In 2012, Lego released the Malevolent set, including a brand new minifigure of Padme Amidala, and this has got to be one of the creepiest Lego Star Wars minifigures ever. Just look at that face! Another weird minifigure from the Clone Wars is Chancellor Palpatine from the original Venator set, and he also has those incredibly creepy eyes. They were meant to match the Clone Wars animation style, but they do not look right. Kia D. Mundi and Count Dooku also have cursed faces, so I'm glad LEGO didn't keep that design around for long. Speaking of weird minifigures, have you seen some of the classic LEGO Star Wars alien designs? Old Arbido from 1999 is definitely one of the strangest LEGO Star Wars minifigures ever. LEGO just stuck a minifigure head on a brick-built body and it looks terrible. Thankfully, they did update this minifigure in 2001 and created a brand new mold for the character, which looks a lot better. Guscano is another creepy alien minifigure based off the Phantom Menace. What were LEGO thinking with that one? LEGO actually updated this minifigure for the Skywalker Saga game, and I'd love to see that new mold in a real set. Reese is one of my favorite LEGO Star Wars alien minifigures, but that head mold definitely qualifies him for the list. And how could we forget Watto? LEGO has definitely upgraded this design over the years, but his original minifigure was entirely blue, which looked very unusual. Another weird Clone Wars minifigure is Tai Sen from the Freeco Speeder set. I don't know whether I love or hate this one, but it's certainly a unique minifigure. Zam Wessel is next on the list, and you might be wondering why. She actually looks really good for a LEGO Star Wars minifigure from 2002. That is, until you see the alternative face print, which is a thing of nightmares. I suppose it's accurate, but it will still haunt my dreams tonight. Whether you love or hate the sequel trilogy, I think we can all agree that LEGO has made some great minifigures from those films, and they've also made some weird ones. The original Kylo Ren minifigure from 20 2015 featured a brand new helmet for the character, but LEGO still printed the helmet on the face underneath. Mars Kanata is actually a really cool minifigure, but that head mold looks a bit too much like E.T. for my liking. <sighs> Onkar's Brute from The Force Awakens is another weird sequel trilogy minifigure. His outfit actually reminds me of an Egyptian mummy. But whatever you think of those, I'm sure we can all agree that one sequel trilogy minifigure we do need is Ben Swolo. Do 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 do